So hello students. So in this video lecture, we are going to have a look at the cost of make set and link operations. We have already seen why we consider the M operation sequence of make set, find set, and link. In case you don't remember, just go back and look at the previous videos. We will find out why we talk about a link and not a union. Now, we also would be doing a potential method based analysis. So we would be using the potential method. We have already defined the potential function. In this, we had also said that we would be talking about n make sets and they are done first. Now, for the potential function, we have already seen that the potential of the forest after qth operation, after qth operation, we talk about a phi qf, which is the sigma of phi qx for all nodes x belonging to f. And we had said that potential of a node is given by alpha n x dot rank for x s root or leaf and we had said that it is given by alpha n minus level x x dot rank minus iter of x otherwise we have already seen what is iter what is level we know what is x dot rank, we know what is alpha n and so on. So as we know all these things, let us get on and start analyzing the make set operation first. So as far as the make set is concerned, let us say x is made. So here what happens now to find the amortized cost, we have to know the actual cost plus the change in potential that is phi q f minus phi q minus 1 f right so what is the actual cost we will say that it is o1 why because make set involves all the constant operations allocating the node and setting its rank setting its pair into itself rank to 0 and so on so it is an o1 now now how about how about the change in potential? What is phi q f minus phi q minus one f? Now this is going to be uh, the case that when a node x is added, it's added as a singleton set. It does not have any child nodes. It does not have any parent other than itself. So it is not going to affect anybody else's potential because it is not going to change anybody else's rank right so or level or iter or anything so what happens is this is going to be just phi q x and what is phi q x and what is phi q x it is nothing but alpha n x dot rank which is zero because x dot rank is zero when it is made. So we can say that hence the amortized cost is going to be given by O1 plus 0 which is O1. So what we have derived is that for a make set operation the amortized cost is O1. Okay, so let's, let's get on with the link. What about a link operation? Link is more complicated than a make set. So let us first look at the actual cost. Actual cost for this also is O1. Why? Because what it has to do now assuming that X is linked to Y or made the child node of Y. Made child of y 
that is what this operation is doing then what happens the linking itself takes o1 time then y's rank may increase may may not increase right if it increases the cost is o1 because y dot rank is made y dot rank plus 1 right so actual cost now we have seen again is o1 now we have to look at the change in potential then phi so again as we said we have to see phi q f minus phi q minus 1 f so how does the potential change is what we have to see so in order to do that we have to look at which are the nodes that are going to have a change in potential which nodes have a change in their phi so let us look at that question so one node that has a change is y the other node that can potentially have a change is x the one that is linked the other nodes that can have a change is z all z such that z was a child of y before the qth operation the reason for these things let us just quickly analyze why why should have a change is because its rank may increase why x should have a change is because the way its potential is calculated phi calculation changes because it was a root root to non root is the transition that has happened that's why it may change now for nodes such as z or all z such that z was a child of y before the qth operation why does it change because y's rank change may change z's level or alpha that's the reason why these are the nodes that are going to get affected other nodes are not affected by this because their parent is not y so for it nothing is going to change no level change no it is change right so these are the nodes that are going to have a change so what is the change with each change for each so we'll first start with y okay so as far as y is concerned what is the change in potential you can say that phi q y minus phi q minus 1 y is going to be given by at the most or it is going to be less than or equal to uh alpha n y dot rank plus 1 minus alpha n y dot rank where y dot rank is the initial rank of it because rank may change so this is less than or equal to alpha n right so we can say that the maximum potential change maximum potential increase is alpha n phi increase is alpha n due to this y okay now let us look at 
the other nodes that are affected. So we saw that X is also affected. So what is the change in X? So X is potential phi Q X minus phi Q minus 1 X is going to be given by now this was alpha n x dot rank right now what is phi q x now it is going to be given by alpha n x dot rank just a sec it is going to be given by alpha n minus level x x dot rank minus iter of x isn't it so what is that equal to so if you look at the first term we can just try to see what is the maximum value that can come here maximum positive value because that is going to give the maximum change in the potential so uh, the maximum value that can come here comes when level and iter are minimum then max for phi change right so that's what we are going to do so what is the minimum value of level of x we know that it is zero right x dot rank what is the minimum value for iter of x we have already proved it is 1 so minus 1 minus alpha n x dot rank so this is going to be minus 1 right so we can say that there is a drop of potential phi by one or more so this is either minus one or a number less than minus one right so it's only a potential decrease so if it is a potential decrease it does not contribute to the um, it does not need to be considered for counting the amortized cost because it is going to cause a decrease what about the other nodes let us just see so what about all the z's so for all the z's what happens again they must have been or phi q minus 1 z must have been given by alpha n minus level z z dot rank minus iter z now if the parent of parents rank increases what's going to happen we can have only an increase in iter if at all now if iter increases this falls now if iter increases so much by a large amount level may also uh, increase if level increases this further falls so we can have only a potential decrease okay increase is not possible hence what is our amortized cost hence for a link what is the amortized cost it is going to be given by o1 plus minus o alpha n one plus o alpha n plus minus one which is equal to o alpha n so that's what we had to prove why here this is the maximum decrease in potential uh, maximum increase in potential that is possible and was alpha n which was because of y and this was the actual cost so in net effect is that it is order of